What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 12 of the THC Samuel Show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We keep talking about new pieces. We keep talking about new artists. Don't be fooled. I know this was in a previous episode. We got something new to talk about today. If you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying the show, please do me a huge favor. It would really help me grow the channel and uh, grow the community of people talking about art. If you guys would hit that like, hit that subscribe button down there, I would super appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, uh, in a previous episode, we went over a Wild Hair by Louis de Guzman, The Sculpture, but uh, over the last week or so, I just got it back from the framer, I got one of the 75 prints. So in this episode, we're about to get into the prints. So I can't wait to show you guys, and uh, let's get into it. So I kind of gave a full, kind of, I guess, not full, but a, a little decent background about Louis de Guzman in that previous episode about this sculpture, um, but I wanted to kind of go into a little bit more detail about the release and about the drop. Basically, back in December of 2020, uh, this was an official collaboration and release with Lewis and Looney Tunes and Warner Brothers. So super, super cool. Like, what an opportunity for a young artist. And uh, like we talked about in that first episode, this was the sculpture, and there were 500 of the sculptures that were created. And then there were 75 prints, and they were both released on December 17th. Um, let me check my notes here. Um, the prints that we're going to talk about originally retailed for $225. Uh, like I said, I scooped it from a gallery. Again, shout out Mile High Gallery. They're an awesome spot around Denver to uh, to buy some art. Uh, I scooped it for Mile High, and then uh, I took it to the Framer, a local Framer shop, uh, Cornerstone. They're amazing. Uh, so if you guys are in that uh, Rocky Mountain uh, area, definitely check those two businesses out. But uh, for the last few weeks, uh, more than that, I should say, for the last like six weeks, I've been waiting on it from the Framer, along with some other pieces and stuff like that for my office and for my studio. And uh, it finally came uh, it's right over here, so I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, and it looks amazing when the Framer's finished it up. You know, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys the detail, but uh, the color layers and just the quality of the work that they did was awesome. So let's get into the actual piece itself. Can't wait to show you guys. And the combo, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when the sculpture is kind of the forefront and the uh, print is the backdrop. It looks so, so sick. So let's get into that next. Can't wait to show you guys the print. So I'm super excited about this episode, guys, because we've never done uh, an episode on a print or on a painting before. So there'll be a lot of other episodes on prints and on paintings that I own in my collection, but this is it. This is one of 75. I own number 18 of 75. So uh, there's 500 of the sculptures and there's 75 of the prints. And uh, like I was telling you guys before, I'm going to hide real quick behind this. How sick does that look when you have both together? It's just really nuts. Like, I love it. I just knocked down a bare brick on my desk. Um, and I'm looking on the back right now. I've got the COA. When I had it framed, uh, and I'll do a close-up of the piece as well. Um, you'll see as I do a close-up, um, I had the frame shop do like a little pink kind of matching, uh, I guess, backdrop inlay in the, in the framing. So it looks super, super nice when it's on the wall. And uh, the quality is just unbelievable. Um, so basically on the back, and this piece again, um, I'll do another clip of that as well, but this piece comes with a COA. If you guys are collecting art, try to make sure you guys are getting a COA. Um, it's not available with every piece at every circumstance, but if you can, uh, try your best to get that COA. And uh, on the back, it gives all the detail. It literally says the title of the piece and everything you need to know. A Wild Hair 2020 Fine Art Screen Print on 110-pound uh, archival paper, 16 by 16. And uh, this certificate confirms that this piece is verified is a verified limited edition fine art print, edition of 75. And then you've got Lewis's signature on the back of the COA. You've got uh, Warner Brothers logo, uh, excuse me, Looney Tunes logo, the network logo. And then uh, he also signed the front. So next, let's get into a close-up of this bad boy. It's such a sick print. Let's go. So really quick, guys, before I get into a close-up of like really what the full uh, print looks like, um, I kind of want to explain, you know, why I love it, why, you know, what I think, you know, he's doing with the piece, uh, why I think it's so cool. Basically, like, if you look at them both together, obviously the sculpture is sick because it's the, you know, the 3D kind of version of the full character. But it's based on this print, and it's really a chance where, uh, to my knowledge, Lewis was able to really do a direct collab with Looney Tunes. And uh, he took that classic Bugs Bunny character. I'm sure a lot of you out there remember just watching Looney Tunes and Bugs Bunny as a kid. You know, that's all, folks. You know, just super cool, just super fun. 
you know, I remember it, and it just brings back some positive, uh, some positive nostalgia and some positive memories. So he kind of takes Bugs Bunny and like does his whole crazy thing with it. And like I said, I'm gonna get into a close up so you guys can get a better uh, view and better detail of the piece. But uh, really takes uh, the sculpture, obviously uh, the same style, and just has it uh, in this visual form. And it's so cool, like the different layers of the print. So let's get into a close up. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's check this out. Okay guys, so here we go. So I had the framing company. Again, there we go. Shout out the corner. Um, I had the framing company uh, put the COA on the back of the, of the piece. Uh, so when it hangs, I just always have the COA with it. There you can see the little wire uh, that it hangs with. And on the back, here is that information that I read to you guys. So there is, let me zoom in real quick, a wild hair, again, fine art screen print. This certificate confirms that this piece is a verified limited edition fine art print. And then you go down there, edition of 75. You got Lewis's signature, you got Looney Tunes, Network, and the stamp of Warner Brothers all the way at the bottom. So just a super cool aspect of the piece. Again, I keep that on the back and uh, just keeps track of the piece. You know, I'm really excited uh, to own it. So COAs are definitely important. Okay, so here we go guys, this is the front. So there you see the 18 of 75, that's on the left side. And then if we go over to the right side, let me zoom in, let me see if that'll focus. There you see Lewis's signature right there on the right side. And if you guys see in between the frame and the actual print, that little pink kind of outline is uh, just a little accent that, uh, that I had the framers do uh, to just kind of let the color pop a little bit more. It looked really good along with the white. And uh, with that, this is the wild hair print. Uh, it's super, super sick. It's one of my favorite pieces. Okay, so let me start at the top and let's do a full, let me see, let's zoom out a little bit. And again, this, uh, this print is 16 by 16. And just look at that, the colors pop, just the geometrical shapes pop. You can see that light in the background, sorry guys. Just everything about uh, just the funness, I guess I should say, of the piece. That's not a word, but uh, it's just like it's just a super fun piece. Like, look at that. Like, that's Bugs Bunny, but in a way that like you've never seen before. You know, I never grew up seeing like that version of like a street art graffiti. Uh, I guess like deconstructed Bugs Bunny. You know what I mean? Like the two different color eyes. Really, everything about it is just really, really, really cool. Um, I love the print and I love having the print uh, with the sculpture. So next I'll do a little close up of what it looks like when we have them both together. So here we go guys, this is what it looks like with the sculpture and the print. Like just how much fun is that? Like we got the 3D print, I mean the 3D sculpture version that you can have on the shelf and then you have the print behind it. And again, it just looks so cool. Like, tell me what you guys think. I would love to hear in the comments. What do you guys think of Lewis's work? Do you guys remember? Obviously, hopefully you guys remember Bugs Bunny. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I, I love these two pieces, and uh, this has been a fun episode. I just think uh, looking around and having these around my house uh, is just super, super fun. And uh, let's get another zoom. Like, look at that. How cool. You know, you got the sculpture, and then you got the print. You got the sculpture and you got the print. Let me see if it'll zoom again. So, just super fun. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. This is A Wild Hair by Louis de Guzman. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode 12 of the THC Samuel Show. This is A Wild Hair by Louis de Guzman. We got the sculpture right here, and if you haven't seen uh, that episode, please uh, check that out. You guys will probably enjoy that. But we got into the print today. This is one of 18, excuse me, one of 75. I've got number 18 of these prints. Uh, they're super sick. The detail is really just unbelievable. Uh, the way that he kind of deconstructs and recreates the character of Bugs Bunny uh, is just really awesome. So it just brings back some awesome nostalgia. And uh, with that, whenever you guys are watching this, good morning, good evening, whatever. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope everyone's having a great holiday weekend. Peace out. Thank you.